everybody I am back for another video I know some of y'all are probably wondering why I'm not doing a Shelby's top 10 since by the time this video goes up it will be Friday and that's when I normally post my top 10 videos but we need to talk on July 26th 2016 at a care facility for patients with a variety of disabilities just outside of Tokyo Japan a former employee of the facility entered in the middle of the night and stabbed the disabled patients, killing 19 and injuring 26. He had previously written a letter to the Japanese parliament saying that severely disabled people should be euthanized and that if the Japanese government didn't do this, he would take it upon himself to do so. He even wrote out his plan to kill the disabled people at the facility and said that once he killed a certain number of disabled people he would turn himself in. Despite this horrible tragedy, there's really not much coverage of what happened. Really the only people that have actually been talking about what happened are people in the disabled and mental health communities themselves. The only reason I even know about this is because I am part of this community and was informed of what happened through a fellow YouTuber who I will link in the description. Since I found out about it, I've only seen glimpses of what happened in news videos online and other videos from people in the disabled community. And this is not acceptable. With the other horrible things that have been happening lately, people have been coming together and supporting the families of the ones who were lost and those who who were affected by the tragedies but with what happened in Japan that most people don't even know about what happened. I am not upset with people for not knowing about what happened but I am, am upset because they don't know and because the news has not been adequately covering what has happened there really needs to be more coverage about this mass murder and what it means and the impact that it's had on the disabled community. But there also needs to be more coverage of disa disability in general and specifically positive coverage. There really isn't much talk about disability in general except for from people in, in this community specifically. And what little discussion there is outside of the disabled community about disability is typically negative. This ne needs to change. In relation to sharing the effects of this tragedy and reaching more people and spreading awareness of what happened, there's the hashtag going around the internet which I will put um, on the screen for you to use and to share your thoughts and see the thoughts of others and take part in the discussion. People need to get into the discussion and not just shrug it off like it is not any big deal or like it doesn't mean anything because it does. Unfortunately, this man is not the only person out there who has these thoughts and looks down on disabled people so harshly. There are other people out there who think that disabled people are worthless, unwanted, undesirable, useless, and just a waste of space, and that our lives are not worth living. I myself have had people come up and tell me that I'm worthless and that I shouldn't be here and that I'm a waste of space. And that couldn't be farther from the truth. Not just for myself, but for everybody. Our lives are worth living. Not only do we have family and friends who love us and care for us just like anyone else. Not only do we have jobs that we work hard for, whether it's a typical job that, that you would think of or something like YouTube or a more non-traditional job, we have jobs that we do and that we love and work hard for. We have hopes and we have dreams and we have plans for the future and things that we want to do in our life just like anyone else. But also, we are people too. 
the fact that we are disabled doesn't mean that we're less of a person or that we shouldn't be here or that we're a waste of space. Our disability does not make us, it does not define us, it does not determine who we are. Yes, it is a part of our life, but that does not make us less of a person. Therefore, things need to change. Not only should be, there be more awareness about disability and about this tragedy, but also more people need to realize that differences do not make us less human or less of a person whether it's because whether we're different because we're disabled or we have a different sexual orientation or we have any other kind of problems that make us different that does not make us less of a person that does not mean we shouldn't be here everyone's lives are worth living everyone's lives matter and the fact that this awful tragedy that has occurred in in Japan has pretty much gone unnoticed outside of the disabled community just goes to show how much work there still is to be done in spreading awareness about disability and how independent people with disabilities are and how meaningful our, our lives are and what we can do despite the challenges we face we need to show the world that our lives matter. Whether you're disabled or not, take the time to share this video. I'm not saying you need to create a video of your own, but at least share this one. Use the has hashtag that I mentioned earlier and that will be on the screen again. Write a response, share, share your thoughts with social media whether it's through YouTube or Twitter or Facebook or Instagram or whatever, use your social media to reach people and to spread awareness about what has happened and to show them that everyone's lives matter, no matter what makes us different. But that is all I have to say for now. I will probably write more on social media expressing my thoughts about what has happened and I encourage you to do the same. Even after this video ends, the discussion should not stop. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video.